Hello reader friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Ah, I know I'm putting these videos out in the opposite way that I said I was going to put them out, but that is because my other video is sponsored and I needed to wait until the video got approved. Who boasted? it? So that one's going to be coming out next, probably in a couple days, if not right after this one. But anyway, so we're kind of switching things up a bit. If you hear a lot of like cracking, I just recently got a Papa Sun chair, finally. I'm so happy about it. It cracks a lot. So if you hear it in, while I'm moving throughout the video, I sincerely apologize. I have been spending all of my time in this chair the last two weeks I've had it, but because I'm being lazy and I don't want to go get all these books off my shelf. We are going to be going off of my Goodreads for today's video, which is um, just going over my March wrap up. So all the books I read in March, I think if I remember correctly, I read nine, which is better than the other months that I've had to this month, or I guess last, no, what month is it? Last month was a really good reading month for me. I was just in a big reading mood. I went on vacation. I had a little bit more free time because I had a crap ton of doctor's appointments. So it was a pretty good reading month. And like the books in general, like the content that I read was pretty good. I will say. So starting with the first book that I read this month, that was The Kiss Quotient. And I do have a full vlog on my channel of that one. This one I gave four stars. It was fun. It was my first like romance romance book that I read. I enjoyed it. There were some parts that were very, very cringy and I am not used to reading smut like at all. So that was a big surprise for me and something that I definitely had to get used to. Something that I don't know if I'm going to read super often though, because I did, I it was just so cringy sometimes, but I absolutely loved our main character. I cannot for the life of me remember her name for some reason. What was her name? Stella. Okay, Stella fell in love with her. She is um, on the spectrum. So I think I just really, I just really connect with all of the characters that are like neurodivergent and I like to read books. And I think that's why I actually picked this book up was because I knew that she was on the spectrum going into it. So that just made the whole book like extremely fun for me. And I just, like I said, fell in love with her character. I liked Michael as well, but I just, he kind of grossed me out at the same time, but their relationship was so cute. I don't know. The whole thing was just, it was a four star. It was fun. It was cute. It was something new and out of my comfort zone and I enjoyed it. The next one I read was Killjoy and that is actually the novella to A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, the series. This book I also gave four stars because A, it's a super short novella. I think it's like a little over a hundred pages, but it just pretty much follows Pip and her friends playing like a murder mystery game. So nothing crazy really happens, but you just get to see where that like love of solving mystery and like that craving for solving mysteries like sprouts from. So I think that is definitely a really, really fun point of view to have. Even though I already read the Good Girls Guide to Murder series, I still think like even after you've read the series, like you should go pick up the novella just because it gives you a whole new like, oh, that makes sense. Like I was wondering like where she kind of like got this longing from. It was a good time to say the least. And if you haven't read Good Girls Guide to Murder, I would maybe start with the novella. I think that might be, might be fun to do it that way. And it would actually make a lot of sense doing it that way too. Anyway, yes, really enjoyed that one. And the next, I finally started the Harry Potter series and I'm so happy about it. So I read the first and second books um, of the Harry Potter series in March. Both of them I gave four stars. I just like, I didn't find them like super amazing to give them five stars. Like, I feel like it's just a classic that everybody has to read at least once in their life, but there just wasn't, it, it's like the first and second books are, are very middle grade. Like they're just very like young and I'm just not like the biggest fan of middle, middle grade. They were still super cozy. Oh, and I should add that I listened to these on audiobook. I didn't read the physical books of these two. I listened to them. And I will say the audiobooks are a good time. I love the narrator so much. Kind of like I was saying though, these books are so fun and cozy and nostalgic. And even though it's not like 
fall and winter time because I feel like this would be a really good series to read in like fall and winter time but I still had a really good time reading them in spring and I did also just finish the third one but that's gonna go in my April t uh a April wrap up anyway yes but the first and second books four stars I'm really loving my time in the Harry Potter world the first and second books are very 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 um close to the movies like they, they kind of seem roughly the same but then I started noticing in the third book that things start to change a little bit um and then I think from here on out they they don't stick to the movies quite 100 percent. so I'm just I'm really excited to get more perspective and more detail and just more from like inside Harry's head I guess if that makes sense but after the two Harry Potter books I read Heartless by Marissa Meyer and I do have another vlog on that and that is my um blind date with a book vlog. This one I gave a 3.75. At first it was like a really cozy and fun and kind of whimsical styled book. I really liked, there was like a lot of cozy baking because she wants to be a baker so she would kind of like go through and explain like things that she was baking and like her dream of opening a bakery and all that kind of stuff and that was really fun. This book took me so long to finish though because I just like, it wasn't very fast paced and it was kind of a longer book. So I just like didn't find myself picking it up like all the time and like wanting to like keep reading until maybe like the last 100 pages or so. And I will say, I feel like you don't really get to see like where the evil queen part comes to play in until like the very end of the book. I definitely think this book could have been condensed to like a 300 page book and I did get super pissed off because which like was the point it's a villain origin story so it's not going to be like a happy story but i kept getting pissed off because like her parents like want her to like be a certain way and it's like what's proper back then but she like wants to do something else it's like her dream and then they just kind of like poop on her dreams and it's like they aren't even bad dreams they're good dreams but you're not being supportive because it's not what's proper and it just that really just pissed me off but aside from that it was a relatively good book i love my Alice in wonderland retellings and i'm excited to be reading more of them. I would like to see this book as a series, maybe. I think that might be fun. But yeah, that's kind of my wrap up on that one. And then I reread A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, my favorite book. If you haven't seen my previous videos, that is the book that got me back into reading last March. This one, easy five stars again. I will say though, now that I've read like a lot more books since then, it's still a five star, but it's like, I feel like when I first read it, I was like, oh my gosh, this is like amazing. And it's still amazing, but like, it just doesn't like, it doesn't hit the same the second time around. Like it's still just as good, but it doesn't, it's, it's just not the first time I'm reading it. So it just, it hit a little bit differently, but it was still an amazing read and I loved it so much. I don't know if I'm gonna read the whole series again because not gonna lie, the third book kind of did me dirty and I was a little bit depressed over that one for a little bit, but. An amazing book, highly, highly recommend. And then I also read um, The Housemaid's Secret on my trip. I have vlogs, I think of almost every single book that I read this month, because that one is also in my traveling vlog, which I believe was like my last video. This one was, I'm teetering on like 4.5 or five stars. I don't know yet because I think I did like the first one better, but I also can't stop thinking about the second one. But there was also a lot of times during the second one where I was like, Millie, why are you being so dumb? You're smarter than this. Like, put two and two together. But then at the end of the book, I was like, holy schmoly, I did not, did not call those plot twists. Like, at all. So like, yes, Millie was being a little bit stupid, but at the same time, like, I did not expect it to go the way it did. So I don't know. I think I just had really, really, really high expectations for the second one. And since I was just kind of irritated through like the first half, the first half was still like good, but I was just like, it wasn't like my favorite. And to make a, a book five stars, I feel like I have to really enjoy it throughout like most of the book, you know? Like I hate when books, like the first half is just like meh, and then like the last half is like over the top, like redeemed, like, cause then it just makes my brain confused. Like the first half, I wasn't having that great of a time. And then the second half, you're having way too good of a time. So it's like, where does that, where does that leave you? You know, it was just, it was really confusing. So overall, I think it's like a 4.5, 
4.75. Um, and then after that, I read Defy Me, which is the fifth book in the Shatter Me series. I did not like the fourth book very much. I think I gave it like a three star. And then the fifth book, I didn't really love the beginning, but oh my lanta, the middle and then the ending of that book. Oh, oh. My heart, my heart. Protect Aaron Warner at all costs. Whatever you do, protect this man with your life. That's all I'm saying. I have a disgusting obsession with this fictional man. I absolutely love Warner and Juliet's development, like character development throughout this series, especially in this fifth book. I just, literally the way it ended just blew me away. It made you really feel something and it made you feel like, hopeful and that all like wasn't lost in the world and I don't know it just like it just gave you like that feel like a feeling that I can't even really describe but it just like I literally like teared up and I don't cry in books rarely if at all so that one was definitely a good one I rated it five stars um and then I read reveal me which is right after defy me and that is from Kenji's point of view and it wasn't my favorite to be honest. I gave that one a three star, but I still, like I said before, I think the novellas are very important and I don't think people should skip over them because they just give different perspectives and it really helps form the story, I guess. Oh, I think that's it. I think I talked about all of them. Well guys, that is it for my March wrap up. I feel like this video was very chaotic and for some reason I just have like a burst of energy right now. So if I talked way too fast, I sincerely apologize. But as always, thank you guys so much for watching my videos. I love you guys so much. I'm very, very excited for the April month. I've already almost finished two books so far and it's only April 3rd. Very proud of myself. I'm really hoping this month is like last month where I have just like a really good reading month and I get to read a lot more. It is my birthday month, so I'm very, very excited for that as well. I will be going book shopping quite a bit this month and I'm not even sorry about it, but I did just get a Kindle as well, so I'm not spending too much money because a lot of the Kindle books I get like on sale for like $2 and I also have Kindle Unlimited. So that has a lot of books that are on my TBR as well. I also have my Goodreads and my Amazon wish list linked below. So if you're ever wondering like what I'm reading, what I want to be reading, what I'm going to be getting soon, like anything like that, um, both of those are linked down below. Anyway, like I was saying before I got sidetracked, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my videos and I will see you in my next one. Mm -hmm.